What is going on friends? Welcome back to my channel, Gian Solo, and today I say, holy what in the collaboration do we have here? Bandmade and The Warning? I thought it was fake when I read the YouTube title, but no, it's as real as it gets. Now I'd like to preface this by saying I've yet to really get into Bandmade, but I am fully, fully way into The Warning. Keep Me Fed is straight up one of the best records of the year. But tell you what, let's cut the shit and let's get into it. Maybe there's hope for me becoming a bandmate fan. Let's go. Well, all right, here we go. Damn, baby! We are, we are off to a rocking start, friends. Things in English? Where have I been? Holy, what the fuck? Oh. Ooh, they're singing in that rain. Singing in a freaking rain, man. they look like they're having shit to the fun. I'm all about that. All about it. Love that city close up, by the way. Awesome. I'm done with playing nice at games that try to change me. Better bet I am the one who throws the dice. Win or lose, it's all on me. I get to choose my That's victory. Stuff. Chorus riff is hell yeah. Oh, that was genius ending with the bass. That was dope. That was so fucking cool. I definitely wasn't expecting this to be so fully collaborative. You know, you know how it goes. Unfortunately, sometimes one artist is really doing the heavy lifting more than the counterpart. But nope, not in this case. This was definitely a collaboration in all aspects and I totally respect that. I mean, what an awesome video, right? When the hell did they even find the time to do all of this? Especially since they're from different parts of the world. It's such a treat to see both all women bands, take note, all women bands kicking ass in one video. They look like they're having so much fun, by the way. Like, this was not even work. I definitely dug the shit out of the back and forth shots between the musicians. That was a really nice, like a quick showcase of everyone's talents and they did their thing. 
kudos to the video producer for shooting the scenes in a face-off type of way in the midsection because it totally worked. But I think the helipad shot with both vocalists, that was the shot. Now the song itself is pretty freaking rad. I think there's a lot of aspects in the song that both fan bases can really get into. And I really love that both bands found a way to showcase strengths of each band member without sacrificing the quality of the song. The song is absolutely solid and may not be a number one, but it's solid. The production is freaking legit. But with that being said, I did find the chorus part to be a bit corny, but please don't crucify me. Maybe I just didn't get it enough caffeine today, I don't know. But I totally get what they were going for and the chorus actually glues the song well. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. Just don't throw salt at me or other shit when you see me in person. But the reason why I do get it, it's because I did read a Billboard article just yesterday where they interview both bands and they emphasized a piece of the lyrical songwriting. The article is a great read by the way, so make sure you read it. Anyhow, when asked about the lyrics to the song, here's what they said. Bandmate guitarist vocalist Kobato says, Yes, since this was a collaboration between two all-women bands, we first discussed making the song about rising to the top together by depicting a strong female figure who can fight in the world. The warning drummer Paulina adds, While we started off by sharing that lyrical concept, there were times we interpreted things differently because of the cultural differences between our countries. But when we came to Japan and worked on the lyrics together, it felt like we were on the same page. The nuances that Kobato was looking for became clear. Kobato then follows up with, by talking face to face, we were able to understand each other down to the smallest details. Now I know you read Poe in some of Kabato's answers. I'll let you read the article as they explain it better than I do. But with that said, I so get it. Sometimes you just have to say it, sing it exactly how it sounds without being quote unquote lyrically playful. It's straight to the point and doesn't make you work for the meaning. That works for most people, but I, I myself, like to work for the meaning. I like to torture myself that way. But more importantly, culturally though, I am almost sure the meaning of the lyrics is a lot deeper than when it's translated to English. For example, there are phrases that are written in Tagalog, that's the Filipino language if you didn't know, that has such a deep meaning but then sounds totally not deep or less deeper in meaning when translated to English. Sometimes it's vice versa, like the Tagalog sentence phrase is not complex or deep in meaning, but when translated to English, becomes absolutely complex or deeper in meaning. Trippy, I know. So, I am going to take a wild guess that the lyrics for the chorus part is the same way. Alright, anyhow, moving on. In the same article, they talk about the production process, which was awesome for this song. Bandmate guitarist vocalist Kobato says, Konami first came up with the foundation of the song. We started off by having the members of The Warning listen to it. Bandmate guitarist vocalist Konami follows with, We wanted to venture out and make a song that would bring out new aspects of each band for this single. And that's how Show Them came about. Everyone in The Warning made changes to the demo I made. Then, we made new suggestions in response to that and repeated the process over and over again until the song was finished. And The Warning's guitarist vocalist, Daniela, closes it up with, When we heard the demo that Konami made, we were very surprised because it was completely different from the direction of our usual music. But, we soon began to enjoy figuring out how to mix our own colors into it. So my point stands, but with that said, getting an insight to the production process really illuminates how much work both bands put in to make this song work and that deserves high praise because let's face it, egos can get in the way, personalities can ruin shit, 
and competitiveness can sometimes get real petty. I so applaud both bands for making this about the music and not about themselves and making it happen. Again, this is such a treat. So now you're probably asking yourself, or not, is Gion now a fan of Bandmate? Not so fast, unfortunately. I've listened to a few Bandmate tracks and watched a few videos by now, but it just has not hooked me like that. I can't quite put my finger on it and why that is, because I do think they are pretty freaking great, but I'm just not hooked. Maybe I'm still waiting for that one track to hook, line, and sinker me, so I'm definitely keeping my ears open. In contrast, it took me three songs to really get into The Warning. Their latest, again, Keep Me Fed, is absolutely one of the best records to come out this year. It's a fucking barn burner. And now, what did you all think? Was this collaboration all that you dreamt of? Did they hit it out of the park? Are you now a fan of both bands? Did they kick ass or fall flat? Are you still rocking out right now? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this reaction, by the way, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, fly higher and rock the fuck on.